What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, honestly, one of the best episodes we've had thus far, uh, we got the Dio ending, which was incredibly insightful, revealed a lot about who Dio is and his role in the game. And while we did figure out a lot, we still don't know exactly why he was sent to the Nonary game in the first place, right? We know who sent him, we know a lot about the context surrounding this like religious cult-like structure, um, but we don't actually know why this religious cult was even interested in the Nonary game in the first place, so that's still a mystery we need to figure out. But looking at the flowchart here, you can see we're filling out quite a bit as we progress along, even though there's still a number of locks. Uh, there is, however, one little branch here that I want to explore, and this is what's going to be if we choose ally. It's probably going to be some sort of bad thing where Phi and Dio just leave Sigma behind, but yeah, I mean, the completionist in me wants to see. Alright, so we will pick ally here. Phi and Dio... I think, um, yeah, this is the one where Fi had talked to us and said, you know, Dio and, F and myself, we're going to pick Betray, we're going to get those nine points, and we're going to leave. Are you coming? Or... <laughs> but Sigma says, is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promised I'd choose Ally, so that's what I'm going to do. But Dio's almost certainly going to have 9 BP after this round. Okay, yeah, we've seen all this before. So, we are going to pick Ally. We're going to keep our promise. We're going to befriend Clover as we die. It is worth noting as well that this might spell pretty poorly for Phi afterwards, right? If this is Phi who presumably faints when getting beyond the number nine door and realizes she needs to learn a lot, uh, and more importantly needs to have Sigma also learn a lot when she's out there, she might get into that, I guess, quarrel with Dio, where Dio was about to, you know, smash her head with a rock, right? <laughs> and it's only because Sigma was there that she survived. So maybe this is an ending where Phi essentially dies, even if it's behind closed doors, literally and figuratively. Okay. Wait! Dio! Phi's voice echoed hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to the number nine door. This is all the same for now. Oh, and now it's not. Dio! So he's going for it. I broke into a run, hoping foolishly that I might be able to catch him. No, he's going to try and open it! So it has come to this, then. What's going on? He hasn't even seen the results yet. I swear this is all the same. It took only seconds for Temyoji and K to explain the math to her. No! Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. The announcer's voice had even faded when Dio reached the door. With a grunt, he swung the lever down. And so the door is opening, right off the bat. Yes! yes. It's opening! Wait! There's no point in trying to stop him now. The door has already opened, but... Dio leapt through the door without so much as a backward glance. Phi paused in front of it, then turned to look at me. What happened? I... I chose Ally. I made a promise. Clover trusted me. Sigma. I see. Makes sense. I guess that's how this ends, then. You had to make a choice that was right for you. And now I have to make the choice that's right for me. Oh, At least she's sad about it. Goodbye. Sigma. Phi turned, her eyes sad, and followed Dio through the door. Now 
No attempt to restrain Dio or anything like that? I guess not. They really got out without a fight. Which is pretty interesting. We have Sigma, this big bulky boy. We have K, this robot who we've already seen plenty of times is quite capable. And then we have Temyoji, the, the dark horse, who surprisingly packs a really strong punch. And none of them work together to try to prevent Dio or Fi from escaping. This ends the Nonary game. Thank you for your participation. Alright, I mean, we've read this before, right? As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. Well, that's it. There's nothing we can do now. We can only hold out hope, then help will arrive. Sigma, thank you. For choosing ally. Yeah. Well, a promise is a promise, right? What about Luna, Alice, and the old woman? Who killed them? Maybe one of the people who just escaped. Or maybe one of us. Well, there's one other person. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, Quark. You're right. I still have to find Quark. Suddenly full of energy, Temyoji leapt up and took off for one of the warehouse's exits. That left only myself, Clover, and Kay. We stared at the number 9 door in silence. It would never open again. What else could we do but stare? Alright, so I mean a game over. Not like an incredibly depressing one or, or shocking one. It's just kind of like a... Alright, well... GG, and everybody's just kind of sad about it a little bit. Nothing nothing too intense. So that was a pretty tiny little flowchart to explore. So now we move on to this middle, this big middle branch here, which is pretty exciting in and of itself. Wow, we've really filled out so much of this game. There's been so much to explore. So this is the first set of chromatic doors, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we'll jump here, right? So it makes the most sense at the moment. Okay. Find I will. What will we do? The only one we haven't chosen is going through the yellow door with Temyoji. I think the first one is going through the magenta... Or no, we chose the cyan door with Alice first. Then we chose the magenta door with Luna. Now we're going to choose the yellow door with Temyoji. I'm thinking we'll go through the yellow door with Temyoji. That sound good to you guys? Sure. Come on, you. Fine. That means Dio and I will go with Alice. Wow. Talk about the group that has the most, like, schemers in it. You know, Dio, Dio, obviously, we know a lot about now. Alice, I can also see being a schemer quite a bit. And then Quark is just this huge mystery box right now. We have no idea what's going on with Quark in all of these other timelines. Ever since he gets infected with Radical Six, he just goes on a rampage. And I don't know. I don't know. And we'll be going through the magenta door. Alright then. Better than getting stuck with that crusty old fart, I guess. So Clover, Luna, and I will be going through the cyan door. I don't get to go with Alice. I'm sorry. I'll try and stay out of the way. I don't really mind you. But the K guy seems really suspicious. We're all meeting one another for the first time. 
Aren't we equally suspicious? Hey, I'm nothing like you. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We need to go, the doors are closing. Come on guys, move. Chromatic doors closing. All right, so here we go. I will say, given my recording time restrictions today, I don't know if we'll be able to complete the entirety of this room before I have to leave. So this might be an awkward ending to the episode given the length of it, or it might be, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll pause the recording and come back to it later tonight or, or tomorrow morning or something, but Either way, we're heading into the infirmary. Which is a room we've visited quite a number of times now. So this is the infirmary. Looks like it. That's what it said on the door, after all. What the heck? Why is there an infirmary right next to a warehouse? Well, it's probably here if any of the workers get sick or hurt. What workers? Did you see the size of that place? Little big to just be somebody's garage. Then, you're saying people work here? Maybe not now, but... Judging by the lack of dust, someone was here until recently. That is surprisingly insightful. Right? Just looking to see how much dust there is in an area, you can tell if somebody's been there, you know, within a few weeks, or if it's been really, like, years since the last time somebody cleaned an area, or used something. But clearly somebody had been here, if there's no dust anywhere. There's a door in the back. Think it'll open? No way. How can you be so sure? Just look at it. You see that thing next to the door? What's it say? Lock. Sounds about right. No dice. It's not moving. Are you blind? It says lock right there. Yeah, yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe I could force it open. Right. Let's have a look around, okay? Good idea. Maybe there's one of those card keys around here somewhere. Then let's get started. Alright, here we go, guys. Time to finally break through the infirmary. Like I said, we've been here a couple times, and so I've been able to eye some of the, you know, areas of the room that have puzzles, but um, we haven't actually sat down to, to solve any of them. So I guess what first jumps out at me is this thing here, the scanner. This looks like some kind of handheld scanner. Doesn't appear to be on. It might be part of this thing it's sitting on. Do you think if we turn this on? Yeah, might be able to use it then. Okay, so we can't turn this on then yet. There's nothing on the screen. That's because it isn't turned on. Okay. That's right, it's called the Atom. Here is a bed. Huh. It looks like someone cut a square out of the sheet. What do you think it means? Yeah, that's that's actually a good question. A pillow. It probably means there's a piece of fabric lying around somewhere, maybe covering something else up. And this is a pretty big screen. It's not showing anything, though. There are some arrows down there. There's a slot on the side of the screen. You think maybe something goes in here? I saw something like that in the AB room. It wasn't quite the same size, though. So you think this is a card reader? Yep, that'd be my guess. Yeah, I agree. But we have to take it out of the atom after we use it. What is this? Metal coin-like thing. Okay. What's this? A coin? Never seen a coin with a bump like that on it before. Maybe... think maybe it's part of something else? The bump might plug into something, or hook into a notch. Yeah, I, I agree, but... Hmm, it's a notebook. Maybe there's something important in there. No, nope, I flipped through it earlier, all the pages are blank. Huh. 
That's pretty odd for it to be there then, isn't it? Can I interact with any of the drawers of the desk? No. This chair is probably for the doctor. Nothing suspicious about it, I guess. What about this stool, though? I bet this stool is for patients. Don't think we're going to have much use for it. Okay, then I don't think we're going to see much with this area here. We've got an AED. What the heck is this? It says AED. It's an AED, just like it says. Okay, what's an AED? It stands for Adult Erotic Doctor. That is not true, Temyoji. I'm kidding. It stands for Automated External Defibrillator. You use it to try and restart somebody's heart if they go into cardiac arrest. It uses electricity. Hmm. Do you think we could take it out? Probably. But what good is it going to do you? If your heart stopped, sure, it might be useful, but right now, don't think so. That's actually fairly interesting. A defibrillator, you can use it to restart a stopped heart, but we don't have any of those right now. Somebody could have killed one of the other participants in the Nonary game and used the defibrillator to revive them. Right? And they wouldn't have their bracelet. Looking at you, Quark. Can I not move any further to the left this way? I guess not. Okay, what do we have over here in this little basin? A wash basin. It's empty. Okay. And a scalpel. That's a dangerous thing you got there. You know the whole point of that thing is to cut through flesh? Just be careful with it. Okay. It looks like there might be something on the lower end. Yeah. Oh my god, this is a laser gun, isn't it? No, it's an injection gun. Pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a gun-shaped thing that gives injections. Should we take it with us? Nah. It'll just ignite the fires of war. Besides, all it's got in it is some saline solution. You can inject someone with it if you want, but it won't do anything. So here's another a war, a worn out key that looks pretty similar to that coin thing. So maybe we can combine that? No, we can't. Okay. Alright, well, we'll try and figure out what the coin is for. Um, can we really not use the injection gun? No. Interesting. There's so many like key items from other events that take place in the game that we find in the infirmary. So there's a whole bunch of stuff up here. There are a bunch of bottles of medicine here. I've never heard of any of these names. Um, so are any of them important? Right? I'm going to try on clicking on most of them just for the sake of... I don't want to miss some item I should be picking up, right? Like this one little guy here. This one says Soparil Beta. Where have I heard that before? It's one of the drugs in our bracelet. Zero says it's a powerful anesthetic. Okay, so it's good to know what's this. It says Chubocurarine on the label. Chubocurarine? Isn't that... Yeah. The muscle relaxant in our bracelets. So both of those are here in the infirmary. And there's a jar containing white powder. Okay, do we have any idea what it is? A medicine jar. It's full of white powder. Okay. This thing is full of medicine. None of them have labels, though. I don't have any idea what's in them. Maybe we should just pick some and take them? No, it's dangerous to mess with medicine you don't understand. So we'd be committing a medicine? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sadly, Sigma's joke was critically trepanned. Not very generous with other people's, are you? That's that's really funny, actually. There sure are a lot of medicine jars here. So we don't know what this medicine is, which is pretty interesting. Now, what about over here? There are three buttons on this drawer. Well, there's no handle, so I'm guessing those buttons are how we get it open. The thing over each one of them looks like some kind of counter. So that means you use the buttons to enter a pin, then press the check button. All right, I'll give it a shot. So pills, triangles, and then what, what, what is this one in the middle here? It looks like an envelope. Hmm. I mean, on the right we have like a bottle of medicine, on the left we have a pill, and then in the middle we have something else. But I'm not sure what it is. Huh. Well, darn. I don't get it. There are little icons that look like types of medicine on the buttons, right? A blue capsule, a yellow powder, and a red liquid. Okay, so they clarify that, which is nice. So the yellow powder is probably the various jars. Have you seen those anywhere before? Hmm. So I guess we could look up here at the other, you know, drawers. The only thing is we don't really know these top shelf ones, what's inside them. If it's a liquid, a powder, or pills, right? So, oh, you know what? The, the jars on the left hand side are coated, or like color coded yellow. 
So I'm sure that's what we need to count for the, the yellow at least. So how much would that be? That would be 10. All right, let's, no. Is there anything down here? There is, oh, I didn't even think. But okay, so there's a safe there. What about on the other side? What is this? Some sort of clipboard? There's a memory card on here. Oh, nice. And a scrap of paper. What's this drawing supposed to be? Found a note with shapes on it. Okay, let's take a look at that. So mixing two powders, A and B, makes it so that we can essentially clean something. Okay, we have one jar of powder. We probably need to find another, and then we'll use that. Oh, I just I want to rotate the room. There we go. Oh, interesting. What is this? Look at all those blocks. The cover is going to keep us from grabbing them, though. There are three empty spots. 5 times 5 minus 3 is 22 blocks. I can see four different icons. There's the blue capsule, the yellow powder, the red liquid, and the green tablet. Hey, check this out. There's a couple of keyholes on the bottom corners. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I'm sure we can need to unlock these keyholes before we can get much out of it. So we obviously have one of the keys, and I'd imagine we make the key, or make another key with um, that sort of like coin-like thing we found. What's over here? A mirror. Can't see anything and it. it's too dirty. I wonder if I should, if that's something I should be cleaning. So we fill this with water. Oh my God, there's dihydrogen monoxide coming out of that faucet. <laughs> Can't you just call it water like a normal person? That's like a classic joke. So I don't really know, we can, we can try to use this on the water, but, um, oh, maybe the drain isn't very good. Huh, is that what they're trying to get at with that? Oh no, so there's not anything in the pipes that we can maybe access. What about this bed? Anything on this one? I bet it looks beddy. <laughs> okay, but the next one is gonna have that clothing tile, or that piece of cloth, right? There's a piece of fabric sewn in here. It's the same material as the bed sheets. So someone attached a sheet to this sheet? I guess so. Why would someone do that? I don't know, ask the mouse. He's a rabbit. Ask the mouse. He's a rabbit. I don't get that one, if you guys don't mind explaining at some point, but we can probably use the scalpel to cut this off. A piece of fabric has been sewn onto the sheet. I think the scalpel might do the trick here, and then we have to clean that before we put it back on the bed, probably, right? So dirty fabric, Is it, was there anything hidden behind it? The center bed, the mattress seems firm but not hard, soft but not squishy. Probably that expensive memory foam stuff. <laughs> okay, and then there's one more bed that has something on it as well. A metal stake. Ah, so this is what we combine with that other coin-like thing to make the second key. So we have the worn key, the worn out key, and then the pretty key. Bet it looks Spartan, but it's actually pretty comfortable. Spartan, it's not somebody, something I hear people use as an adjective very frequently, is it? Okay, so now that we have the keys, let's open up this. I don't think we'll actually be able to do much with it at the moment. Doesn't look like that key will fit. There's another keyhole though, maybe it goes over there. Okay, well that one went easy enough. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to interact with this yet. So we have the SD card, that's probably what we'll need to look at now. Awesome, I unlocked it. Whoa, what the heck just happened? The whole thing just moved out from the wall a couple inches. Can you pull it out? What do you mean, pull it out? Or I guess I, I should have tried. Huh, yeah, looks like I can pull the case out. Well, let's have a look at it then. Sure. Move the red, green, and blue blocks to squares that correspond to their colors. You can move the three blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Oh, it's another one of these block puzzles. There was one of these in the first room, right? So what we can do is something like this. Mm, no, that's not really gonna do what I wanted it to do, is it? So how do we want to approach this first? Um, I still like, I still like up first, right, and then down, and then maybe left. So we're kind of like trying to slowly cycle things in the, the correct way. So then if I go down here, and then left, and then up again, we're almost there I think. Go right, and then, hmm.
Maybe down? No, that's not what I wanted. Now if we go down, then we go to the right. There we go. Ha! That was a piece of cake! I guess that was a passable performance. Good work. Why do I get the feeling your heart wasn't in that? Hey, did you guys see this? Moving those blocks seems to have filled in the empty spaces on the front. Oh yeah. Oh, so this is... What, is this what we count? Right? So it would be what? Five, six, two? So maybe that color coding was, you know, just a red herring. So five, six, two? Nice. And what are we gonna find in here? Aw, oh, yeah. Open sesame. <laughs> Whenever somebody says open sesame, I can't help but think of Patrick. T -t open sesame! Oh, well, I've done all I could do. <laughs> well done, Sigma. There's something in here. You found a note with colored numbers on it. A note with colored numbers. So, three in yellow. I'm just gonna write this down for now. So I don't have to access the, uh, the thing again. Should make this blue. One, and then two. It's a lot, usually a lot easier to visit the uh, the memo than the archive over and over. All right, so let's get the SD card ready. This looks like a slot for a memory card. I think we're supposed to put a memory card in here. Try it out. Come on, you don't have to tell me what to do. I know what's up. Gosh, Temyoji, Sigma knows what's up. Okay, so now what? A equals white powder in medicine bottle. B equals water. Okay, there's something on the screen. Yeah, it looks like some words. Is this a hint? Yeah, I mean, we... I Didn't we actually already try that? I think we did. So let's head on over to the sink. And we'll turn the faucet on. Maybe it wouldn't let me combine them before we got that hint. There's water coming out of the faucet. It's filling up the sink. Is it that I have to, like, open it somehow first? Oh, no, I know what it is. We need to pick up that wash basin, don't we? And then we put the powder in the basin, and then we put water in the basin, and that's how it's going to work. I've got a jar, and to the basin you go. There we go. So we have an empty jar. And now we can go fill the empty jar with water, and we should be good. Kind of a roundabout way of doing it, so I wish there was a little bit more flexibility with that, but that's fine. Gonna get some water with an empty jar, huh? Yeah. Pretty clever, right? Don't know if I call that clever. I think a three-year-old could come up with that plan. Oh, just do it. It's fine. All right, well, we got some water. I wouldn't drink it, right? Can't imagine you dumped every little bit of that powder out, right? All right, now I just need to pour the water in. And there you have it. Hey, I've got bubbles. Okay, so now we can clean this. Dirty fabric. If I just soak the stained fabric in this. Plaid fabric. So, interesting. It has a four and a five circled on it. And it has the pill, the liquid, and the, the powder icon. Not really sure how that's going to come into play yet. We still can't access the AED. So I guess let's, um... Oh, wait. Did I already pass the atom? I did. So let's maybe put this on the bed? A hospital bed. A square has been cut out of the sheet. Interesting. You're going to put that fabric we bleached into the hole on the bed. Yeah, it looks like it's exactly the right size. Give it a shot, then. Will do. Okay. Wait, what? A hospital bed. The piece of fabric I found earlier is fitted nicely into the sheet. The head of the bed is next to the scanner and its attendant hardware. Do we try to scan it now? Is it not on, or what? Oh my goodness, I thought I had to turn the power on doing something else. <laughs> There's literally a power button I could have clicked on. This looks like a power button. Try pushing it. Why do I have to push it? Well, it might be a trap or something. That makes me want to push it even less. Fine. I'll push it then. No, I'll do it. 
God, fine. I just need to push it, right? Please do. Please do. Ugh. I will say, it's kind of silly that I that you need to turn it on rather than just have you know the power with access. I guess it gives you the opportunity to give that dialogue, right? But anyways, the screen is wiped. Um, we'll take the scanner. Okay, now that we've got the power on, what are we supposed to scan? How about the sheet you put on that bed? Really? Might as well. Okay. Use that information to enter the five-digit password and then press the check button. So... D. E. Oh, and so then, of course, the memo is that... So going... So we're going five, four, three, two, one right now. So three is um, the yellow, which was the powder, I think. And then two would be red, which was the liquid. And then blue was one, which is the pill. So obviously we, we messed it up um, because it's backwards, but the idea is that it spells cured, right? Okay. Man, if only scanning patients was actually this fun. <laughs> it's a little mini game every time. Awesome. Looks like that did it. Hm. Good work. The screen changed. And it's green. Okay. Huh? Wait a minute. You've seen it too? Yeah. There was something like this in the AB room. The symbols are all different though. I'll... I, I take it you two saw one? Yeah. We used a password like this to open the safe in our AB room. You ought to write that down. No, it's cool. I can remember it. <laughs> You're gonna memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. Okay, and then the next question is, all right, how do we get the hidden file password? Because that was the escape password. And I'm not really sure. I think we'd have to scan this again. What happens if I take that fabric off and then try to use the scanner? Is there anything to be scanned? No, there isn't. <laughs> So I guess, what are you doing? You aren't going to get anything unless you put something there. I'm just checking, all right? Jeez. So clearly, given um, that that screen is still active, this scanner inputting the correct password is going to be how we get this, uh, this next password. So the question is, with cured, can we rearrange those letters to come up with something else? Um... Cured, uh, I don't, I'm not seeing much at the moment. Hmm. Do you guys see something? Maybe like crude, but I don't really think that's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's how we're supposed to go about it, but we could try. So I think it was this and then this, right? We could try crude just because it's some other word you can make from rearranging those. Maybe there's... Oh, there are letters to scan in the other ones. Okay, so here, here's what I'm gonna do. V, Q, L, I, F. So we'll, we'll check and that's obviously not gonna do it. But I think in the memo, what I'll need to do is keep track of which letters are on each one. So it's gonna be essentially Q, D, L, I, F. So let's write that Q. D, L, I, F. Oh, actually, yeah, I should just write them over the, the squares themselves. So, Q, D, L, I, F. I don't know why I can't just, you know, switch it by clicking retry, but that's okay. G, C, T, U, K. G, C, T, U, K. That's the wrong button. Um... G, C, T, U, K. It's a little bit annoying that I have to do this every time to figure out what the letters are, but it's all right. Um, then Y, M, A, P, W. 
Ah, I, I keep alt-tabbing instead, for some reason, instead of going to the memo. Y M A P W. It's like I want to switch tabs back to the memo, but it's just not working. Obviously. O S H E X. I almost did it again, but I caught myself. O S H E X. And I guess one of the other questions is going to be now. Are, is it going to be like a word search where we look for a particular word in this arrangement or do we just consider, you know, what words I can make with all these letters? The reality though is there's so many letters here that, um, I don't know, it's going to be, it's got to be a word search, I think. J-R-N-B-B. -B. Okay, um, let's see what we can do here, right? I'm gonna kind of approach this. We're looking for a five letter word here, right? Uh, at first glance, I'm really not seeing much because we can only really consider if it's a five letter word, each row, each column, and then the diagonals. And neither diagonal seems important. Each column, you know, joy GQ doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, I mean, looking at the different rows, I don't see anything. So, am I am I supposed to make some word from this? It's just that there are potentially a lot of combinations. I guess the only, I guess one of them that sort of stands out to me is, well, do we have, I guess Quark is one of them. That one seems relatively meaningful, so we can try Quark, and if that doesn't work, rather than sit here for a while, maybe I'll think of a couple more, but I don't know. So Q is in the top left, and then U is this one, and then A is the middle one here, R is gonna be this guy over here, somebody's got a really loud car outside, and then this would be K. Let's check that. That's not it either. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what else then? It's not quark. Cured. It's probably, if it's not cured, it's maybe something related to the opposite of that, right? So like, diseased, but I can't think of a five letter word. Death, maybe? We have a T, we have an H, we have a D. Do we have an E? We do, and we have an A, so. All right, let's try death. So D, and then E is gonna be the four. And then A is that middle one again. T is right above it, and H is right below it. So let's try that. That's not it either. Hmm. Then I don't, I don't really know. Uh. It's not quark, it's not death. I mean, the answer was cured. And I don't think there's any, there are any other clues we're missing out on at the moment, right? And there are no like very meaningful words that I'm thinking of. Nothing like Temyo G5, maybe Sigma? But yeah, yeah, I guess we could try Sigma. Let's do that. Then I up there. And then G over here. And then M here. And then A over here. That's not it either. I'm curious, do these squares on the outside do anything? No, they don't, okay. Then, yeah, I don't, I don't really know, guys. At this point, I'm just trying to come up with interesting words from uh, from this grid here of 25 letters, 25 unique letters. There's only one letter that's actually missing here, right? And it's Z. So we can come up with almost the entirety of the alphabet here. So I could be sitting here for quite some time. Um, 
And if it's not cured, and it's not death, Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just kind of grasping at straws at this point. In our archive, I don't think there was anything the big monitor hint, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think so. And we tried the reverse order of 5 4 3 2 1. And when the actual answer was one, two, three, four, five, and um, I'm trying to think of maybe that grid involving that we solved this sort of slide puzzle. Does that have some sort of indicator on it? I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna look this one up, guys, because I don't have a lot of time, and I feel like I've exhausted all of my, in my opinion, reasonable trains of thought. So let's look this up. Huh. So this is pretty interesting. Supposedly, I wonder if I can interact with this again. I can still interact with this. Oh, so I guess I could have counted this differently. So maybe if prior to yeah, so that's related to the hidden file password too, but I wonder how I would have counted that differently. I don't remember which of these were not here originally. I guess if prior to solving this puzzle, I counted the number of different medicines. So there are two solutions to this. I wonder, I wonder why though. So I guess what I'm reading here is that you can do the medicine counting puzzle, which is that one that I was just interacting with. And we counted it based on this, right? Where it was five of the blue medicine pills, six of the yellow powder ones, and two of the red liquid ones. And so we did that and we got a certain fabric um, from this drawer and we cleaned that and that's what we used to solve this over here. But I guess another answer to this is 221. Or another answer to this counting is 2, 2, and 1 for the blue, the yellow, and then the red. And I don't know why. Where else did I see blue, yellow, and red medicine labels. I mean, there's like the 10 yellow jars here. Maybe on like the top shelf, there are two blue things, two red things, and then one, well, no, that wouldn't even be the actual solution. So yeah, I guess you guys let me know how I, somebody would find two, two, one there. Because that's also enough that I think there were only three missing blocks in this slide puzzle initially. So I was thinking, oh, maybe if you put in the answer before you solve that slide puzzle, that would be one solution. And maybe if you do it after, that's another solution. But that's not the case here as well. So I don't know how, but supposedly 221 is also a solution to this. So maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe you guys can tell me that because I'm... I'm blanking here. And so we get another, huh? Why'd the left drawer open? There's something in there. So we get a clean plaid fabric. And that's the one we can scan with Adam. So that's the plaid and then this is the clean hospital bed. A square has been cut off. Let's just set this in here then. And now we can scan this one. And if we do the one, two, three, four, five, it'll be found. And that'll get us the hidden file password. Huh. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm confused. I don't really know where we would have gotten that other 221 password, but let me, let me know, because, yeah, I, I mean, I've got to go, but, <laughs> so I did it. Nice, good job. Seems you figured it out. The screen's showing something again. All right, so then this is gonna be the, the hidden file password, huh? 
It's different now. The symbols changed and they moved around. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. Can you remember this, Sigma? Leave it to me. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, we can go down to this little set over here and we can solve the puzzle. I saw a safe like this one in the AB room. Yeah, Sigma and I saw one just like it. So do you think it opens the same way? Try it and find out. So I think the hidden file password was three suns in the corner here. Yep. Awesome, it opened. Ha, well done. Good work. Okay. And now we'll try one more. I do not remember the original one, so that's star, star, and sun. Star, star, and then sun. Oops. There we go. And with that, the infirmary is completed. Overall, a pretty cool room. Oh? Looks like it'll open up with that other password, too. Seems like it. What are we gonna find in here? There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. First, we've got a map. It says floor A. Yeah, we can take a close look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next we've got a card. Two cards, actually. And we know exactly what those are for. These must open the AB rooms. See, they've got Ambidex room right there. Yeah, you're probably right. Then we can use these to open the AB rooms. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. We can go back the way we came, but that door's locked. I think the answer to that is in the safe. See? Read this note. Here are a few more rules. Oh, and then this is this is just the one for uh, once we've opened a door, we can go through it a, num a number of times, right? Interesting. So it's saying that once we get out of here, we'll be able to head back to the warehouse. Yeah. There's another piece of paper in here, too. It looks like part of a newspaper. Why would someone put a newspaper in here? Radical 6 infection spreads. Kira continues to elude authorities. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. What the heck? What's Radical 6? Wait, quarantine? No way! Look, we can talk about this later. Right now we need to get out of here as fast as we can, but forget it! Just do what I tell you to. The last thing in the safe is probably the key. So we can finally get out of here? She's nodding. Okay, so now let's go! Yeah, I, I feel your urgency, Fi. For sure. So, I think the locked door was on our right-hand side. Yeah. The thing that keeps the door locked. It says lock. Alright, here we go. Okay. Yep. Three, two, one. And we have opened the door. You found it. Yeah, overall, infirmary, pretty cool. Uh, still pretty clueless as to that 221 clue. Normally, once I find out what it is, I'm like, oh, here's how you could have interpreted something. Um, but there have been times in the past where it still eluded me and you guys helped me out afterwards. So I'm counting on you guys again. But um, I need to get going. So in the next episode, we're going to continue down this huge new timeline and explore all that it holds. Essentially learn a lot of information that's hopefully going to unlock some of these other timelines we've interacted with. And I hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this is Night Zero, and this mission is complete.